Also, I only just noticed the music in the background here that's like the weird... It's just a... It's just like a Nintendo noise track, basically. Oh, and there's like some... There's a couple of synth strings behind it. After image. Yeah. Unrestrained. Analysis. Yeah. Yeah. Uncon... <laughs> It doesn't surprise me that Lust is one that gets hurt, though. Whisper. Whisper. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wow, that's a cute one. Huh. Oh, it's not a, like, whisper. It's more of, like, hey, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I think Extraordinary I is think a... Extraordinary I is a Soyor. I Explode does. Huh. Yeah, right. Shopping! Okay, agonizing is a Sayori agonizing one. Agonizing is almost. Oh, is it? Okay. I remember it being uh, a Sayori one, but I don't know what would be the uh, the Yuri one. Vibrant. I don't know. Let's try agonizing. Oh, no, that's a Yuri one. I remember it being a Sayori one. <laughs> Chocolate. Oh well, she'll be into that now. No, I'm just secretive, <laughs> probably. Did someone say chocolate? Oh, nibble marshmallow. Oh yeah, you know, you just got them insight cheeks. <laughs> oh, my insight dream cheeks. <laughs> uh, Misfortune is definitely a Sayori one, because I picked yes. that twice. <laughs> we, we've realized that over a course of time. Uh, Destiny, probably. Yep. Oh man, this is my suicide, <laughs> suicide, suicide. This is my strawberry fantasy. <laughs> my Doki Doki suicide. <laughs> my death extreme. Candy sunset. <laughs> yup, there we go. Pain. Oh, a Twirl pain. A defeat parfait. I don't know. Loud amazing. <laughs> Play Inferno and Starscape. Give me one sec. Okay. Oh, there were no cookie shenanigans this time. And we're back. Okie doke. Okie dokie dokie. Are you practicing the piano again? Okie dokie, Literature Club. <laughs> yeah. Now picking up the piano. Passion. Let's help out with the festival. Whoa. Natsuki, what's going on with your face? Is that what a smile looks like? Ugh. No wonder you never do it. I'm talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day where we get to play and eat. Do they have fried squid? You're saying a festival does not have squid? The hell kind of festival is this? Fuck. I'm presuming one of those is a word meaning squid in Japanese. Yeah, I'll look it up. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it! Now that's a pretty good joke. God damn it. Uh, Ikayaki is a popular fast food in Japan. Uh, Simple grilled squid. Okay, yeah. Because um, uh, right, yaki is fried. Ika means squid or cuttlefish. It also means below, less than, or under. So. Nice. Yeah, also, going back to Azumanga again for a bit, because one of the things about Japanese humor is it's very wordplay-focused. There's a lot of that in there. and so Oh, yeah, them, there's a lot of ways to do that. Well, so, so one of them is, uh, one of them is, like, there's a question, it's like, how do you make water into ice? Oh, you just add a little mark to the, to the kanji or something. And there was a translator's note in here, it's like, there's no way to translate this joke, so we're just gonna put it here and just write the symbols down so you see what it means. 
That was also one of the things that there was uh, an interview with the guy who did the localization for Earthbound. Who, um, because he had the translated part, he just had to, you know, localize it into, like, proper English. And there were a bunch of parts he got where it's like, this is a joke that only makes sense in Japanese, make up your own joke here. And so he has a great level of pride for all the jokes that he put into that game. <laughs> I mean, he fucking should. Sup, Sayori? Space it out again. Space it out, Sayori. You worry too much. Don't mind that I told you that I'd rather rock home with Yuri and her, like, huge gams. With her, like, weird giant lady legs. I just want to have a huge wife. I just want the large thigh. Listen, alright, Sayori, I'm sorry. I can't date any girl who can't crush my skull like a sparrow's egg between her thighs. Yeah, I mean, 362436. <laughs> Maybe she's 5'3. Oh, way to fuck up. I care about the well-being of my club mates. Listen, you gotta stick with people who realize that blunt weaponry is the superior path to victory. <laughs> Other idiots all about those swords? Nah, nah, motherfuckers. They're all about them spades, them hearts, diamonds. The diamond industry is ain't shit. It's artificial scarcity, I swear. Diamonds are intrinsically worthless. I mean, yeah, okay. I guess she did drag me to this club for some reason. No way. Oh shit! <laughs> so I will note, I did go down Sayori path the first time I played through this game. Yeah, it seems like the path you're, you should do. It doing... really doesn't hurt anything not to. Yeah, no, we're not doing that, motherfuckers. We're going the Yuri path. I mean, I go Yuri Path all the way. <laughs> We're all about that shoujo eye here in this household. Excuse me, this is a shonen eye house. You get your yaoi hands out of here. <laughs> I can't. I literally can't. I, I can't, they fill up the entire room. I have to have her talk to Sayori. It's something I do a lot. I read minds. I'm a latent psyker. <laughs> I know that the Emperor looks upon me with disdain. It is all I can do to atone for my sins. Yeah. 
Spachiko. The world is often hidden, deep with meaning, beyond plain sight. Have you seen it? The dreaming? Every time I close my hey, it's eyes... it's me where the dreams live. Every time I close my eyes, I see nothing but an endless field of demons. Even in my dreams, I still see that place. Silent Hill. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Friends searching for something. I think that I ship you. <laughs> This is the only man for me. I don't know why he keeps getting up to things with Avidus. They're two totally different people. Sometimes they play around a bit, but it's okay. I like to watch. Let's read. I brought my chocolates. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's see what this path goes. Fuck. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I guess. Good. Great. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Don't worry about me. Fuck, I can't even see your poem, damn. This is this is the cost of living in this world. And Natsuki's just gonna be like, fuck, fuck you and your fucking Yuri poems. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh destroyed. Like, I'd just be friends with the Force Commander, but I would marry Avid. <laughs> I'd marry Tarkus, and then Avatus I'd probably kill if I had to choose. We're, do we're doing fuck, marry, kill, right?
No, you weren't asking about that. Sorry, you didn't want to read my Blood Ravens fanfic? So you're saying you don't want to ride into our honeymoon on the back of a dreadnought? You don't want to bring death to the Emperor's enemies? We could conquer I'm sorry, that's the wrong of... answer. That makes you an enemy of the Empire. I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I, I can't speak with heretics. Unless you're a rogue traitor. <laughs> but really, in admitting that you know nothing, you, you express true wisdom. I too wish to cosplay Jon Snow. <laughs> these healings and lasers Groom. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Would not you say the same? Gimme. Ghost Under the Light, Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance the blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, the silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers, my heart pounds, he raises his arm, time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arms. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. The ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Oh god, he's got a gun! <laughs> Ghost blood still red. Ghost blood still red. Cloudy water makes the frogs melt. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if Natsuki would have also been like next immediately if I saw if I talked to her first. I'm pretty sure she would, yeah. I <laughs> just like that I fucking called it. Yeah, when going the Sayori route, I ended up with like normally Natsuki being second on my list of like how much she enjoyed my uh, what I gave. Mm. So she was less dismissive. <laughs> Yeah, no, Where it's... she's last for you, so she's always like, Fuck off! <laughs> you added boop. That's the only <laughs> thing you gave me. Fuck off! <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, in subsequent playthroughs, I'll have to try the other ones, see what the rest of these turn into. Oop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, alright. Well, I was thinking I'd submit Boop Massacre. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the great Boop Massacre of 66. You know, my dream marshmallow cheeks and, you, you know, that sort of stuff. She's gotten so refined. She's been too Yes, she's taught me many things. The language of love. By that I mean boning. <laughs> Do you know there are two different wikis for 40k? I didn't know I could know so much about Rubo Gilamon. Look, so uh, I basically just made my poem out of the various war cries of Space Marine chapters. Uh, the Kakarot online, is that, like, space in between all of them right there? It's just, like, three empty lines I put in the middle of the paper. Aha! Reading that edgy novel. I get you. I get you, fam. Uh oh. I mean, aren't you? I mean, you're a fuck up. <laughs> the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather, lost adrift in the sky, victim of the currents of the wind, day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glittering, glimmering in a twi twilight sky. <laughs> Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look to her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek the Im only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. So it is worth noting here um, that if you've done uh, all three with a single girl, you get uh, various poems here, like how you've had the special poem. Mm -hmm. Like you got that because of that. There's a regular one you could just get from uh, Yuri here. Um, there's also uh, the regular Natsuki one and a special Natsuki one that you could get here. Sure. I was surprised. I was expecting a lot more like weird abstract stuff from Monica's poem, but I guess they have to back off every now and then. Um, interestingly, both, uh, Yuri and Natsuki will have a poem about beaches if you, uh, aren't dating them, essentially. Huh. Like the same poem? No, no, it's, it's different. Interesting. But they're both about beaches. Huh. I mean, I'm a big fan of Bette Midler, too. Uh, I actually really like Natsuki's third poem, if she likes all of them. Yeah, no, her poems seem pretty good. Yeah, they're they're fun and entertaining, and <laughs> she has character. Mm -hmm. The 
If we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose meaning? Why does everyone in the in the club more sad than happy? Look, melancholy is a strong emotion. <laughs> ah, yeah, that. Because you're afraid it's not that good, it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response. It's like having your own literature club. She has a catchphrase? Yeah, I never really noticed the catchphrase either. What is what is her catchphrase? I mean, maybe like look every like something everyone. Good news, said, everybody. I mean, fair point, Natsuki. <laughs> Ouch. First off, fucking get off my jock. <laughs> Climb right out of my ass, Natsuki. <laughs> anyway, festival prep. Nice. Dury, you can, um, you can, you can stay home and out of the way. Oops. This is why you need the vice president. At most fear? Like that thing that burns up as they pass the Aquilas through it? <laughs> Damn it. I love atmosphere. Ah, well, you got Sayori. Wait, what? No! <laughs> Ooh. Fuck all y'all, I want to bang the boy. What are you saying? He wants a very large wife. No, small wife only. <laughs> guys, guys, he clearly likes them thick. <laughs> <laughs> he likes them thick and juicy, so hand him that juicy double. Oh, Space Cow's in trouble. They're asking for a piece of that bubble.
you literally just said. Wow, they're so they're so mean to Monica here. They fight a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. So... So, don't click on anyone yet. Just tell me what, well, when your gut instinct is going with first. So, like, okay, first off... So, my gut is to go with Natsuki, because fucking, she just makes a shit ton of cupcakes. <laughs> but, I want to do the game good. <laughs> Okay, so, I hit Monica first, just because it's hilarious. Alright. Yeah, you picked me! <laughs> I don't give a fuck about what you want! Why can't I pick Sayuri? She's she's just doing what Monica's doing. Uh, it, it has a similar response. <laughs> no, you don't need to reload. Okay. It, it's, it's effectively the same thing. They just reduce your option count. Okay. Um, so, uh, you could go Natsuki, and I don't think it changes much. However, if you want to, like, kind of get the capstone to the Yuri path, I figure. Like, Yuri makes no sense here. Sure. But yeah, no, for real. I, Natsuki, I appreciate your your honor and sense of duty, and Yuri's just doing something because the president gave her a job. Like, let's be real. Yo, for sure. Ugh. What? No, I don't say mean things like fuck that cunt. <laughs> God, all right. No, I don't agree with using those terms generally. I apologize. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is what you do with one of those. Oh, one of a variety of objects. <laughs> that is definitely how you verb that noun. I mean, yeah, I've I There's no one else. I gotta bake 50 goddamn cupcakes! I mean, she already said that it was gonna be a breeze by herself. Gotta bake these fucking cupcakes. You piece of shit. <laughs> hate everyone today. They're all gonna die. All of them. Absolutely all of them. All murdered. By my hand. Ceasing. Do you hear the screams? Yuri looks up from the poem that she's writing. <laughs> I don't really know why he picked me except for the fact that we're basically dating. I get it. Got words for friends. Oh man, I love Scrabble. <laughs> you know the words with friends? There's a separate words with friends board game. Like that comes in a box that you can buy at a store. Isn't that just Scrabble? Apparently it's different. Like the board layout's slightly different and the piece distribution is slightly different. Okay. And I don't know how they got away with it. 
Unless they're also produced by the, whichever company produces Scrabble. I presume it's Milton Bradley. Yeah, I don't know. Milton Bradley sounds the right one, because that, like, that doesn't sound like a Parker Brothers game. Or a Hasbro game. No, oh, it is a Hasbro. It is Hasbro? Huh. Yeah. So, you know, Scrabble, canonical in the uh, Magic the Gathering multiverse. <laughs> Well, I mean, there there was that uh, there was that card. Now I know my ABCs. Yeah, there you go. I also actually, yeah. So you you even with uh, longest longest card name ever, Elemental, you still don't win with that card yet. I don't remember what other cards you need to pair with it. Even with that, there's nothing more for today, so time to head out. Time to walk home by myself. You're right, let me give you my phone number. I would like to be in your house, please. I would like to peruse your 40k miniature collection. <laughs> you have one, right? I presume that was part of our dating agreement. I just want to look at your space wolf. Actually, Torbjorn and something else. I can't remember what the fuck it, uh, the Dreadnought's name is. <laughs> it's something Bjorn. Forgetting the reason that makes the most sense, because she got just real thick hips. I can't believe it. She's going to be coming to my house. There's no way with telling what might happen. <laughs> Yuri, come over. I can't. My parents are home. Yuri, I'm working on a school project. <laughs> Image of Tarkus landing on planet. <laughs> I think we're gonna have the Yuri experience next time. It's late. All right, some the next couple of days will be really interesting, so that's a good point to cut it off. Oh man, I'm glad I get 54 save slots. It's it's standard Rempy issue. It's not like they did anything weird. Yeah, it's just it's a weird number to have. They presume like games have a lot of save points. <laughs> I know, it's just weird that it's like 54 and not 60. Eh, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know, even multiples of 10. <laughs> anyway, yes, next time we will have more words with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good night, Internet, and we'll get to the meat next time. Good night.
Up without meat, where the meat and the dreams live. It's the same place. 